Welcome to the So You Want to Get Fat podcast. I am your host, not your typical chef, Brian Sow. And with me today... I am your as- sexy ball of buttery goodness, <laughs> Frenchie! Frenchie! I stole that from you. You did. You did totally steal my Okay. Life. And we and where are we? <laughs> <laughs> we are filming at 340 West 46th Street in the heart of New York, the heart of the city, Times Square, Hell's Kitchen, Restaurant Row, La Ravage Restaurant! What's the address? 340 West 46th Street, New York, New York, zip code 113-10036. For why? For all those postcards that, that you're still... not sending Frenchie. Yeah. Yes. Send us knives now. Look, we started a... Yes, we... Yeah, well, how come we're not getting more knives, people? Send us more knives, okay? We don't want your postcards. Yeah, send, we want send you us to knives. Send us knives. <laughs> the more psycho looking, the better. Um, and the way things are going, you can send... Uh, no, food no, supplies. Believe that out. Believe that out. <laughs> no, Demo- pick up a demonetized T-shirt. <laughs> the link in the description below. Pick up a T-shirt. While they're in New York, where they where should they go? Huh? Frenchie. They they go to Lauravage, and where should they go after they go to Lauravage? Cats delicatessen. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you, bro. Fuck cats. Okay. <laughs> go to Mission Sandwich Social in Williamsburg, Brooklyn, three twenty six. Okay, Bedford that, that joke is running long. Okay, well, yes. well. Oh man, that that's uh. We'll do um, away with that. And then we, but! Have, we have one more place to shout out. Chef Anton Dayrit from Tradition. Do you remember how I got so excited watching that episode? Yes. So we reacted to Filipino breakfast. And then we followed that up with an Epicurious video of a chef making sisig, which Frenchie was exposed to for the very first time. And then come later, we find out Chef Anton's restaurant is within walking distance. <laughs> literally, from, like to, literally yeah. like a 10 minute walk away. It's yeah, crazy. Like, yeah, like a 10 minute walk away. And we go to his place and it, it was like a m- moment out of a movie. We both walk up and we look in and we go, that's him. <laughs> that's him. He made the seasick. So you guys should definitely check it out. Uh, Josh run the B-roll of our visit last time we went. Um, it was absolutely amazing. Chef, thank you. Thank you. You know, not thank just... You. From the video, we saw your talents, but getting to try your food and meeting you in person was was a lot of fun. Thank you. And he is just as nice as he looks. <laughs> um, uh, welcome. Welcome to So You Want to Get Fat. Thank you, guys. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's going to be it's gonna be a fun day. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we will get more into the story of Chef Anton. But before we do that, you guys need to check out his spot. Chef, if you can shout out your place, please. Guys. Right here, this part, this part right here. It's the restaurant's name is called Tradition. It's on Seven Nine Zero Ninth Avenue. Um, there's two locations. One, the first, the first one is on in his Hell's Kitchen, Seven Nine Zero Ninth Avenue. Second one's inside Urban Hawker at One Three Five West Fiftieth Street. Come check us out. Yes, thank you. Um, yeah. Make sure you write that down because he rushed through that. <laughs> well, we'll have him shout it out again. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then one more shout out we need to do is Pop Empanada. Our buddy Tommy Greco just opened up a spot in Times Square. Joshua, run the B-roll. Uh, I took some B-roll of basically the entire spread over at uh, Pop Empanada. And I'm going to take a quick bite. I'm not holding back. Wait. What? We're go. a little cheap oh, with yeah, the we're good, 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 good. I'm, 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 actually, I'm actually full, so like, you know. Yeah, so we're, yeah. we're always full. Yeah. <laughs> Is this supposed to be a chimichurri? Mm. Oh shit! Oh, I smell the garlic. Mmm, spinach one's great. Mmm, mm, the skin is good too. What's that? What's this one again? Shrimp. That's mm. pretty good. That sauce is that sauce is like whoa. Well, that yeah. sauce is good. A nice and acidic yeah. and salty. Yeah, I yeah. just tried the sauce with the shrimp empanada. Yeah, that is really good actually. Okay, then let me do the same. Then. <laughs> Damn, I need to try it with a hot sauce though. Oh yeah, yeah. hot sauce. Oh, oh. See this speaking one. of which, see this guy. Oh my God, today. Where's, is... where's my camera today? Yeah, that's why. No, check it out. Today's all about the plug. So, um, <laughs> actually, as when this for episode, oral use only, guys. Only, oral, oral use <laughs> only, guys. <laughs> so as of when this video comes out, we will have an active link in the description below. Yep. You can order this immediately. <laughs> available for immediate shipping there's even a bundle with a t-shirt or you know what you don't have to order it in fact i don't want you to order it don't order it don't order it (laughs) all right so pop empanada Mm. 
How, how's the uh, how's the sauce work mm. with the? Um, oh, good. Let me let me try oh, it with this buffalo good. chicken. You like it? Yeah. Mm. Gochujang, yep. al orange, a little collab of uh, for Frenchie and I, combining what? my Korean, Korean heritage. Korean, Korean, and French. How did Korean. you pronounce it? Gochujang al orange. Al orange. Al orange. Dude, <laughs> I'm the whitest guy here, and then I got the most ethnic pronunciations. How is this happening? Well, you're French. Yeah. <laughs> mm. That works on that. It does. Not a... It really does? Yeah, it really does. Mm. Wait, this one? Yeah. Ours? Yeah, ours. Well, it certainly doesn't taste like shit. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Right, you know, I've been um, testing this sauce on like on everything, just right. to, because sometimes certain sauces don't work on on food. Oh, this cleans you up. Oh boy, but it's pretty versatile. Yeah, like sriracha doesn't work with everything. You right, know? you I know, agree. like it's. Uh, I think I think I, I only use sriracha just basically just for like you know meat pies, you know. Right. Or like banh mi's or whatever. Yeah. But it doesn't work for. It doesn't for like, work for. for it's everything. like it's so distinct. You can, correct. You can yeah. make it out right away. Correct. Right. And yep. then it's. It's almost uh, distracting. Yeah, it, it works. It works with like blending into a sauce, like a, like an ingredient, in a, a part of an ingredient in the sauce. It works that way, but like right. on its own, like doesn't work for everything. Right, I agree, totally yeah. agree. Yeah. So check out Pop Pop Empanadas. Uh, don't buy our hot sauce. Check out Tradition. Yeah, you guys definitely got to check it. It was literally one of the best sig I've ever had. <laughs> Am I pronouncing that right? I'm sorry. C sig. C sig. I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. Oh! yeah. Luca was please, right. Please, please, uh, please, oh, please guys, please me. guys, uh, oh, yeah. don't don't pronounce it Sisig. It's not Sisig. All right, Sisig. Yeah, Sisig. Sorry, I'm pissing <laughs> off all the Filipinos. And speaking of Filipinos, so how all this came about, Chef, is my grandfather is ethnically Chinese, but like many Filipinos, he was born and raised there. So Phil Chinese. I'm Phil, sorry. So Phil, Filipino Chinese. Yeah, Filipino yeah. Chinese. And he and. Uh, I didn't realize this until much later, but that's the reason why he speaks good English and he spoke fluent Spanish. And um, that that's why my aunts and uncles actually uh, have like a very specific accent when they speak English. Yep. And I never picked up on it until I started hanging out with my other Chinese friends and met their parents and was like, oh, my, my parents like English is my dad's English is pretty good in comparison. But and, and that's didn't you tell thing. me that they just speak to them, each other in English though? Yeah, they speak to each other a lot. Oh, okay. Yeah, like the English, so, is, so English practice, are, for for like and for for most for most for for the most part is everybody speaks English in the Philippines, whether it's broken or not. But everybody does understand mm -hmm. um, or speak English at a certain capacity. Yeah, you know, so it's Tagalog first and then English second all the time. So, yeah. well, that's like in France too. Um, yeah. Everybody speaks their dialect, but everybody learns French basically through television in school. Gotcha. That's like the main gotcha. language. If you didn't know, my entire life I've dealt with anxiety and depression. Put that together with a high stress level job in addition to trying to get the very best out of myself every single day, that can become quite a volatile mix and it took me a long time to realize the importance of mental health, which is why I appreciate the sponsor of today's video so much, BetterHelp. It took me a long time to get past the stigma of mental health and finally see a therapist. In fact, I didn't see my first therapist until my mid-20s, and it was great. But as my career grew and I became more busy, it started becoming tougher to go to sessions until I finally stopped. One of the things that makes BetterHelp amazing is they have you answer questions to pair you with the best possible therapist for you, and it's flexible. It can work around your schedule, it can be a phone call, it can be FaceTime, and even via chat. Starting your therapy journey has never been easier with BetterHelp. Get connected to a network of 30,000 licensed, accredited, and board-certified therapists to help you face life challenges and improve your mental health. Visit BetterHelp.com slash GetFat to get 10% off of your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash GetFat. Uh, all right, on the meat and potatoes of today's episode, once we met Chef Anton, we had to have him on the show, and uh, we need him to check out this video called Filipinos Battling Over Seasick. Oh my God. Now, I got to say, after putting out our video, do people have their opinions, right? Of course. People always have strong opinions when yeah. it comes to food. <laughs> and uh, to keep it dirty. Uh, oh, 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 oh. 
Yep. Um, yeah, people have strong opinions when it comes to food. So I'm very curious to see your reaction uh -huh. on this video. And uh, well, just like I mean, just like just like the Cisig Epicurus episode that I put out, that was pretty, uh, you know, much. It, it was not scripted, but like you know, it was kind of scripted. But like mm -hmm. obviously, it was because um, you're not you're not supposed in Bampanga, you're not supposed to have Cisig without with with an egg. Right. So there was a very uh, you know. Um, Huge uh, backlash for that. But, yeah, you know it's it's that's what they want. That was that was part of the script. So right, like what can what can you do? And yeah. at the end of the day, it just has to be delicious. So, yeah, at yeah. the end of the day, if it's delicious, then who yeah. gives a who fuck? gives a fuck? Exactly. Why would you not want the egg on? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, exactly. Why wouldn't you want? It's 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 a very oh, uh, it's not traditional. Yeah. It's not so, traditional. Yeah, exactly. It's not traditional. But it's better. No, 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 it's not traditional. Yeah, exactly. Uh, another <laughs> comment. I Amen. Uh, yeah. <laughs> another comment I saw a lot was, uh, oh, it doesn't have chicken liver, or it doesn't, yes. you know. Or, or, or there's, there's there's so many things. Oh, it should, it should have ginger. Oh, there should be should, should, should be no uh, okay. uh, garlic. I mean, at the end of the day, that's why my restaurant's called Tradition is because this is my tradition. Right. My tradition is different than yours, you know. Right. So yeah, that's why like people come. Like, and then of of all the recipes that I people complain about, like French recipes are just staples, right? The recipes. Well, I've had it a million times. And it's like, and I've had it this way. It's like, okay, well then, why do you need to come to my restaurant? Yeah. If you don't, if you want it exactly the same as somebody else. Yeah, exactly. Right. exactly. Right. And do it at home. Yeah, go, go someplace else. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, let's dive right into the right. Uh, let's see this. the meat and potatoes. Let's Did, get our headphones on. Do you have oh. some for him? Yes. Right there. Oh, you are prepared. You see? Right. You see? I'm a fucking Boy Scout, bitches. Let's check this guy out. All right. Let's check this out. This is. I already have a, issues with. Is that. Apple cider vinegar or something? No. Uh, oh, is it? Is it, it? It looks like apple cider. No? It looks like it. But like but after it's all done. Well, let's watch the video. I, I just want to give a shout out to the uh, creator of this video, Andrew Frazier. The video is called Filipinos Battling Over Sisig. Whenever someone puts out their <laughs> version of any dish, sisig, spaghetti and meatballs, butter chicken, basically every cooking video we put out, people just shit on it because sure. oh you didn't do this you didn't do that sure. but that's part of, of that's part of it yeah. well that's we want Who that cares? in the yeah. comments it makes yeah. us grow through that yeah. but this is uh andrew frazier going to the philippines and trying various different types of seasick let's right. check this let's out check and out. chef anton whenever you want to jump in with oh, a yeah. comment just let me know please oh, trust me i'll do i'll, I'll be jumping in hell it's yeah your, it's your show <laughs> yeah, it's your show today no. there's a war raging over seasick this is considered the authentic form a tantalizing mix of chopped pork seasoned with citrus and chili, traditionally served sizzling hot, and it's become the epicenter of a heated cultural dispute. That's pretty good. Yeah, I would say it's good, but it's not easy. It isn't just some petty clash. It's a full-blown battle for the heart <laughs> and soul of a nation's cuisine. This is a dish that today like is deeply about. woven into the fabric of Filipino culture. And with every chef and I, I could I could already see cool. like each your your next door neighbor is gonna shit on it. Of on course, it, you know what I mean. Of so, course, yeah. like that's like when you go to France, like all the grandmothers will shit on the like the it's yeah it's oh no no mine's original. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's one of those things like they go oh yeah. Go for so it. what sorry like what what is uh, um a quick quick sorry that I that I um, realized um, when I just came, uh, visited the Philippines last year. I uh, twice, so I went to Tagaytay and it's in which kind of the hilly part where all the, you know, the bulolo is uh, uh, bulolo means like it's a whole beef like chank that's mm. cooked in uh, for a long time with like, poured gravy on top yeah. on a sizzling plate. Every single restaurant, every single restaurant. Like maybe 10, 15 of them said the original. Oh, <laughs> all of them are the original. It's going back to this, the same thing. Right. Same. Everything's the original. Is it so. one of those things like if you go over to someone's house, you eat it, you're like, oh, this is freaking delicious. And then you go home and you talk shit with your fam. It's like, I can't believe they made it this way. Or they <laughs> I don't, put that in I don't know. I, I mean, I'm not, 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 not as far as I'm concerned, but important. like, <laughs> you know, maybe. <laughs> all right. Wait, wait, wait. Pause his, pause on his t claiming that they Air version is the true embodiment of this matter. beloved. Chef dish. lives matter, right? We have a Cucinera, huge problem. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, that's what I mean. yeah. 
No one can even agree on what seasick is. And we're not talking subtle differences here. Variations of this dish are unrecognizable. And given its insane popularity today, both nationally and on the international scene, this matters. It is one of the few dishes that truly represents the rich cultural heritage of the Philippines. It serves as a symbol of Filipino culinary identity. It holds a vital place not only in the hearts of Filipinos, but also on the global stage of Filipino food. And so, if no one can agree on what sisig is, then what does it say about Filipino cuisine as a whole? Sisig. All right, so, Chef. Um... Is seasick something you typically go out to eat, or is it something your mom made for you growing up? No, well, at least in, in our household, like we don't really make it. We don't really. Uh, my mom, my mom, my as my mother did not really make seasick. We I, we were in my mom's uh, my mom's repertoire was kind of like Spanish, um, Filipino cuisine, but like I would have seasick out. Mm -hmm. um, and like you learn from from other chefs, gotcha. but I would like you know you you typically have sisig as a it's called a pulutan, mm -hmm. meaning it's it's a, it's a it's a accompaniment to drinks. Ah, gotcha. So sisig was not normally eaten with rice. Yeah, sisig was just sisig on its yeah, own but it's, it's, in a sisig plate yeah. and drinks. I, I, nice. It's yeah. so rich. I don't yeah. see so that rich. being a healthy meal to eat at home all the time. Right, right. You know well, what I mean? I ask because it is that, a that process. seems like an yeah. indulgence, right? Yeah. You want to go out. You want to you want to get yeah. eat something that's so like, so, so so basically when you, you and then the seasick became so popular that you know um, it started to be sold mm -hmm. in other restaurants with rice on the side as a meal. Gotcha. You know that's where that's where the egg came from. Yeah. So so it became like a dinner or you know or or um, like a full meal, full meal rather than like a like a like a booze like a exactly like a company. Like well, a company I'm gonna compare it to the Japanese uh, like ramen, right. like. Japanese don't eat ramen every day. They eat it once in a while, or it's not an everyday dish. You can't eat that. You can't. You yeah. can't eat that shit every day. You're yeah. gonna die, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's the best way to die. <laughs> you know? Ramen just became popular, and then and they made restaurants out of it, and like whole, like a whole concept. But yeah, I mean, Japanese people do not eat ramen yeah, daily you know, or yeah. or even weekly. Maybe. Well, funny enough, I'm pretty sure there's a big percentage of the youth that eat like top ramen every that, single day yeah, but that's, yeah. Yeah. i know what you mean i know what you mean, <laughs> no, no, I know what you mean. Okay. might be my single favorite filipino dish so today i'm meeting up with my good friend bien and chef tito george in an attempt to get my head around this issue the term sisig is derived from the old tagalog word sisigan which means to make sour this is all right so yep so far so good so far so good yeah so far so so far so uh uh, he's on point. Um, yeah, so cool. Let's 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 listen to the rest. that the method of preparing meat with souring agents was well known well before even the Spanish colonization. Early versions of sisig were likely more of a salad, exactly. including green papaya or guava, exactly. seasoned with vinegar and spices. And sisig, in some shape or form, has been a part of Filipino cuisine for centuries. But the dish as we know it today primarily evolved and gained popularity during and after World War II. I could let this pass as a sisig for now. The modern version of sisig, which includes using parts of the pig's head, is credited largely to the culinary innovations of the Pampanga region. Lucia Cunanan, also known as Aling Lucia, yep, she's the queen. Often she's the queen. She's the queen. Oh, all right. Yeah, but she's, uh, her sisig was basically just, uh, uh, if I remember correctly, had a little bit of um, liver and then just chopped up big parts and no egg. No nothing. egg. Just straight up. And it's not crispy at all. It's no chicharro, nothing. It's just straight up the, the, the chewy part. Yeah. yeah, but it's delicious. Exactly. It's amazing. Exactly. Credited with popularizing the modern version of sisig in the 1970s, she used grilled pig heads and chicken liver, chopped with a mix of onions, citrus, chili peppers, and served it on a sizzling plate. Oh, yeah. hell We're yeah. Starting out. Yeah. So, that's, oh, yeah. so that's basically like, that's basically like, the base of like making a curry right there, mm -hmm. you know, like that's that's where you you build up from, you know. Yeah. If you have all these parts, you know, like remember when I made a seasick, you know, you have you have the the liver and everything. Yep. You you're, you're supposed to put the pig brain, but I eat, but at the end of the day I use mayo. Like yep. that's that's where you you know it's it's up to you to change those in, in, ingredients. But this is the base. Gotcha. If you have all these, you're good. Gotcha. Yeah. Hell yeah. Marikina Public Market, where Chef Tito is picking up all the ingredients we're gonna need. And this place is kind of wild. There's everything. Let's check it out. Uh, 
Man, those markets look. Those markets look. Uh, those 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 markets look a lot cleaner than they used to be, man. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> they were they were nasty before. I wouldn't I would have you wouldn't even catch me stepping in the market like that before. But now they look a little great. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> were you born in the Philippines? Born and raised. Born and raised. Yeah. I moved here when I was twenty seven, which is already seventeen years ago. Oh wow. Or okay. sixteen years ago, something like that. So back when you were a kid, they were oh. they were nasty. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> wet, nasty, stunk. Oh my god. <laughs> Smelled like wet dog. Yeah. <laughs> That's uh, guava. Mystery vegetable. Who knows? Ikama, no? I look like Ikama. Yeah, no, I think I think it was a uh, uh, maybe maybe like ube or something. Like uh, I'm not sure. What are you pointing at, French? Is it was it that? No, 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 no. It, no, it looks no, like Ikama yeah. just now. Well, I'm not sure. This is the main meat for a seasick, a pig's face. Yes, yeah. the Basque people, they, they don't eat uh, this part. So the Filipinos, they cut it, they made something out of it, and that led to different uh, dishes, one of which is seasick. So that's the origins of the dish we're going to be eating today. Yes. It's kind of like the utilization of a meat that was discarded by the West. Yes. The size, the sheer amount uh, of a vet. Of which West? Because French people <laughs> love their head cheese, man. <laughs> <laughs> and the Spanish, no, no. Uh, I think uh, in, uh, when we're talking about West, basically in the Philippines, it's or normally toward towards the United States. Oh, you know, okay. so that's when you say something in the West. Oh, it's the West is always towards the United States, so not not really not, not 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 so much Europe or whatever. Gotcha. <coughs> the ability of just about every ingredient you could possibly imagine here is just absolutely wild. So that is it for Marikina oh, Market. Wow, got... We've got the <coughs> yeah, yep. you know, pig face, the tripe, the tripe, the bro. Tripe. Yeah. yeah, I love tripe, man. Yeah. Beef tripe. A bunch of different condiments. I have really no idea how this dish is going to get cooked. So let us see what's, how Chef Kino wait, cooks this. What's going this on with his hair? <laughs> <laughs> focus on the food. Don't don't focus on the food, not the person. Okay, okay. we we're, don't don't get us in trouble. Okay, All right. don't get us in trouble. Boy out. Done, so we're taking some Filipino transport to Chef Tito's house. But it looks like a really small toupee. <laughs> <laughs> it looks I, like he had a really small toupee on the I top of his head. I think he has, he clearly has a receding hairline and he's combing. <laughs> he's trying to cover it up. He's combing. Just shave the, it off. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, are you done? Okay. <laughs> God fucking damn it. I can't unsee it I'm now. I'm telling you now. It's... <laughs> Ah! Chef Tito and his son Miguel are preparing three versions of seasick three for versions. us today. Okay. They begin That's by blanching the pork mask, which is the essential ingredient for all three dishes. Next, they're slicing up some fruits required for our old school pre colonial Okay, so what is that? It looks, it like, looks like jicama. It looks like jicama. Why is there a jicama? I have no clue why there's jicama involved in this. But uh, let's, see, well, let's see what happens. Yes. Colonial style seasick. Oh, in this case, guava. Oh my God. and guava are mixed with various types of chili, seasoned with salt, lime juice, and vinegar. So I think that's the first. So I think that was the first like super like traditional ancient version of seasick, which we were, where actually seasick was just a salad. Gotcha. Because and then because actually seasick became um, a pork salad where it was basically just chopped up boiled parts of of the face. Right. Yeah, and vinegar. And so then they just served it like and that. They served, and then they added it to to the salad here. Got yeah. it. And then eventually someone caught on. It's like, maybe just we should remove the vegetables. the vegetables <laughs> and give you just Thank you. Thing. Thank you, Alan Lissing. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> the pork mask is then grilled along with chicken livers. Oh, I love that. And once they have a nice brown color, the pork is diced and the liver is mashed into a pate. So chef, uh, I have another intention for bringing you here because mm. I intend for a holiday special video, make my own seasick. Sure. And I would love for you to try it. Sure. And I've seen tons Wait, of what, mentions. What, what am I good for then? <laughs> you, 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 That's you, my thing. <laughs> <laughs> you can crack the egg on you, top. <laughs> yeah, you get to crack the egg on top and eat it with. Oh, with oh, oh, so I'm, oh, so I'm still eating. <laughs> yes, of course you're oh, still okay. eating. Yeah, and then oh, you wait, talk wait. shit to me and tell me how I'm inadequate or did something wrong. <laughs> you remind me of my fucking father. Uh, anyway. Eat your ass. <laughs> uh, question. Uh, 
there's liver in this. Yes. What if you put in pate? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. You can do Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Oh yeah! You see, I was thinking, I was yeah. thinking. So you can, what, what you could probably do is is pulse the pulse a little bit of the, the, the pate with a little bit of that mayo and the and put it straight yeah. in there. Okay, you know, make now, it creamy. But now you've opened up a hole. Oh. <laughs> there's, there's pate and then there's pate. Yeah. Yeah. Like, do you go from liverwurst yeah. or do you go to real pate? No, no, like I was a, thinking of going real pate, like a country pate. Yeah. So we have all the or or even now I had cheese pate. Oh my God. Right. There's so many. Now you got all the components. Once I saw the liver, so I was this like, is, this is literally a French and Filipino collaboration. Yeah. Well, so. So yeah, I'm doing much. a collaboration with a restaurant right down the street from Mission called Sunday in Brooklyn. We're both doing a version of a okay. meatball sandwich. Yeah. I don't know if you want. I know, we, I we, know that restaurant. Oh yeah. yeah. So I'm really good friends with the with the chef de cuisine over there. We're doing the sandwich collab. And uh, something I was talking to Frenchie about is we should do something like that here. If you're interested in doing Just something, go. yeah, would, just go for it. Yeah, would love to chat Let's about it. it. But yeah. I plan to do a sea sig sandwich. But then when I saw all this talk of liver in the comments yeah. section, I was like, what if I got a really high quality French pate and then we had you do some special here? There's obviously yeah. like something we got to figure out, but I just feel like there's something that there, there, be there's, done. There, there's some rules that, that, that I guess like when it comes to making seasick that, that are that need to be followed like in terms of like there's it's useless to look to to use like a really 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 nice pate mm -hmm. because you're not going to be able to taste it anyway right. well, it's because of the soy sauce and the citrus and everything right right and the so, nor yeah and the nor the, the exactly nor, yeah. the most important the most important thing so yeah. so it's uh was, it's yeah i was gonna say because you know who i had dinner with who at the at the event uh dufour why is that name so familiar the, the guy who branched out it from danielle and made his, oh, own, his, his own pates oh, yeah. dufour products yeah yeah and well, I don't know how happy he'd be if we took his pate. Yeah, I was about to say. I was like, I don't know. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm thinking about chopping foie gras and folding it at yeah, 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 like, yeah. oh, 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 shit. <laughs> yeah. Your foie gras. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh that is. Oh. Light bulb moment. Yeah, light bulb moment. We got to talk. All right, All right. Let's keep watching. This is the, the first traditional seasick some spices salt and of course the most important of all the vinegar now it's time for the pampangan style I mean, if you think about Northern it it's sisig. so perfect because right. you make a dressing you need your fat and your vinegar but then the fat is your hardiness right, right? and then the vinegar you know binds right. it up together yeah. i well, mean breaks it up it right? makes Crit. so much sense it's, yeah. if you think about it yep. that way sure to shine the diced pork is added to a hot plate and generously coated with chicken liver pate. Onions and chilies oh. are added, and it's finished with coconut vinegar and calamansi. Oh, there you go. Oh, okay. Where do you get fresh calamansi? In um, uh, you can get it in uh, in Miami. Uh, okay. <laughs> and uh, by the way, it's uh, it's not it's it's, it's cheap. It's uh, it's one hundred twenty dollars a pound. Oh, okay. <laughs> very cheap. Yeah. So that's why nobody uses it. Yeah. So yeah. So even like the calamansi that I used in uh, in in Epicurus was mm -hmm. was actually from I think they got it they sourced it out from Miami or something. Oh no shit. And it was like, how did you even get this? And you know, it was like they were saying like it's very expensive. It was about hundred bucks a pound. It's like, wow. Shit, okay. Yeah. All right. So let's not waste anything. <laughs> yeah. I went to the Phil so I live in Woodside, which is right, right by you yeah. know. I mean, they have calamansi concentrate. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I bought some calamansi yeah. concentrate. Not, not, even close. not even close. Not even God close. Not even close. God damn it! All so, right. I, so I think that I mean, whenever you, I need to use like whenever like do like a prefix like tasting yeah. a dinner for like a special occasion, or whatever. Is when I need to use calamansi, I just I just mix up some lime juice mm -hmm. and some some orange and a little bit of tangerine. Yeah, you're good to go. Dude, oh, I I yeah. just thought of something. Yes. Did you show them the the event space? Not yet. We, that, what event space? Yeah, we do something there. Yeah, yeah. come on. They're right downstairs in our old studio area. Let's do a pop move. up. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. There's, there's a. There's, okay, there's, we have to I do mean, a French. Yeah. Filipino. What Whatever you, I what, am. What are you again? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know anymore. <laughs> I look in the more. I li look in the mirror every day. How many, like, how many percent Filipino are you? At least of an, an eighth, like or? one sixteenth. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah so I'm sure you're still Filipino, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so that's it. Yeah. So every time I say this, uh, throughout my entire life, whenever I've uh, hung out with Filipino, I could have just met them that very night. Before I know it, I'm hanging out at their house and eating dinner and drinking yeah, exactly. beers. Yeah, yeah. It hap it's, it's happened numerous times. I lived in mainland China for six years. Oh, nice. Um, th this was before it kind of went crazy recently. <laughs> but, it, but it depends who, who you ask, right? Because right. French people are uh, assholes. They... Like they like they'll even tell me like oh you're not French you weren't born in France yeah 
but but I have a French passport. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Filipinos are you're one eighth, you're one sixteenth. They're like, yeah, man, you're Filipino. Like you're one of us. But my mom's Korean. I'm always the China kid. And my dad's ta- born in Taiwan. And when I was living in China, I was always the American or I was always the Korean. <laughs> no. This is the now seasoning that they sell uh, the north. Okay. Chicken liver. Got it. It's what made this dish creamy. And man, it smells so good. I'm sorry, I can't Listen, help Listen, I know Our that's going to taste is the amazing. Or manila but style. The, but the, this, because there's so much of the liver, it just coats everything. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So, and that's not for everybody. Yeah. 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 What? So, yeah. If, you're, if, you're into, if, if you're a restaurant owner, that's what you have to look at. Right. Right. Yeah. So basically, like you know, that that that's that's the that's a kampampanga sisig that he made right there. Mm-hmm. It's a northern sisig, right? Which is the kampampangas in the north. When you add chicharron to it and like chicharron and like um an egg, then it becomes uh, sisig from Manila. Gotcha. Yeah. Sisig. They combine minced pork to a base of chili and onion. Soy sauce and mayonnaise are added, and everything is trans. Nor, nor seasoning. <laughs> there you Nora. go. Good old Nora. Third, to a hot plate steaming with mayonnaise. Lastly, an egg is added to the mix, along, of course, with vinegar. This is the sisi from the south. With the egg. Really good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Chef Tito. Man, this looks freaking amazing. It is. Thank you. Incredible. Thank you. What the hell Thank do we have here? Well, we're going to have sisig. Okay, so we sort of have some very ancient traditional forms of sisig here, and then some more modern variations here. This type of sisig, not documented. Mm. This is when they started using meat. They had a lot of meat, you know, the parts that were unsold. Mainly the face or the mask of the pig. Yes. And this kind of sisig is still something you don't really see on the streets nowadays. Well, I don't think they call it sisig. I think they call it quinila or the ceviche. Huh. Correct. It's like a ceviche. Exactly. So they call it basically like kinilau, or actually, kinilau is, is, is a ceviche, right? Mm-hmm. But when you it's kilawin, that's actually that's actually when it becomes like, uh, you know, um, a salad with like cooked uh, uh, meat parts. So it can be pig or, you know, like beef cheek or mm-hmm. whatever. That, that's actually pretty good too. Okay, yeah. Nice. Sounds good. Ceviche. Yeah. Oh, it's more. like a ceviche. Let's try it. Let's try this yeah. Yeah, ceviche. Let's try it. Probably the first worm. Oh, wow. Mm. Oh, dude, that is so good and so different. Well, listen, I, it's sort of like this. Every culture has a version of this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, we have this with like, okay, so we, the tongue, and you have all the parts, and then you do, and then you do like a vinaigrette, mm-hmm. and you eat that. Yeah. It's, yeah, there's. Uh, I can I can taste that dish. I've had. I don't know. I'd, the I'd, name I'd, actually, I'd actually take that that uh that idea. Use to use lengua and put it in a, in a yeah. kilowatt. That sounds good. Yeah, yeah. I love that. Definitely. <laughs> uh, I've had numerous Chinese dishes where it's some type of pro, uh, protein with garlic and vinegar and soy sauce. Just that combination See, right there. Yeah. Salty, vinegary. salty, sweet, sour, yeah. spicy. You know, like they'll have the Thais do it. Like all that's all you need, man. You know, like that's that base. Sour, fatty, grilled pork. You know, like you said, it almost has a ceviche like flavor to it. Yeah. It really does. Whatever they have back in the day, mm. that's what they're gonna use. Just right after uh World War II. I, I think of like the new- old the old Italian delis, because they used to get to get rid of all their cold cuts, they would do an antipasto salad. So all the ends they would cube up and yeah. everything and, yeah, yeah. and put everything. People buy the shit and out of it. People bought the shit out of it. Anything left? Right. Good thing they have vinegar. <laughs> right. I mean I think that's really what makes this taste so mm-hmm. so, so for me like right. here's the thing, you know, like I know like sisig means to make sour in it with vinegar, but like there's so many other souring agents out there that, you know, I feel like, especially in the Philippines, like they had, when, when I was, when we, when we were there, it's like this. So sometimes the, the, you have to get really, really good coconut vinegar mm. to make the sisig, you know, yeah. nice and clean, yeah. if, which we can't really get here. Right. So, so I'd rather use like, I would rather use like, you know, obviously if you have like calamansi, use that. Mm-hmm. There's so other so there's so many other sour agents like even even like you know like a little bit of lime juice and orange I like what we talked about earlier mm-hmm. yeah I think that's 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 better than actually just using vinegar mm-hmm. yeah yeah uh, coconut vinegar is quite hard to find when yeah. I went to the Filipino supermarket I couldn't find just plain coconut yes. vinegar it was usually spice yes 
uh, yes. which is served usually yes. as a dipping sauce, yes. right? Not as an ingredient. There's I, there's one though, there's one coconut vigor that we use in in the restaurant. Though. I'm not going to reveal the name, but uh -oh. you know, that's that's. Uh, I'll tell you later. Okay, okay, off camera. Off camera <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> this is privileged information <laughs> just for chefs. Yeah. That, that, that vinegary <laughs> flavor. And so in a weird way, even though this is like a an old school form of seasick, you still would not really associate that with seasick today. Mm -hmm. Well, not anymore. Huh? Not anymore. Not anymore. Because nowadays it's morphed into more yes. about the tribe. This variant on the left here is more of a northern style. Northern, yes. And so what makes this a northern seasick? When was seasick originally? So Papanga, is that north or south? North. North. Yeah. Okay. It's north, north. Of the, it's north of Manila. And that's that's, that's that's a culinary center of, of all of the of all of the Philippines. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. And that's where seasick. That's where seasick well from. originates from. Okay. Yeah. A lot. There's where a lot of a lot of the dishes, the really good dishes, are originate from actually. Got it. And a lot of the really good cooks. Cool. That's where my family's from actually. Yeah, there, there you go. go. There you go. It's from Pampanga. <laughs> You're from Pampanga. I am from Pampanga. I have a really interesting story. <laughs> so this is then the authentic form of seasick or not? Well, I wouldn't say the authentic form because no one really knows the authentic form anymore. However, when they started calling it seasick, this is considered the authentic form. This was sort of the version that it became colloquialized. Yes. yes. And so, Bien, is this to you like an authentic seasick? That is actually what seasick is to me. Let's try it. I want to see what it's like. Yeah. Cheers. Oh man. Wow. Dude, that that is incredible. Same. Oh my god. Wow. Really? Food is just so delicious. Mm. And you get so emotional. <laughs> man. <laughs> it's not just more. the creaminess of the liver, the sourness that's really coming through. It's also the crunchiness from the ear. So you've got these different textures from the head. And just, I mean, man. Yeah, it sounds, it, so uh, I had seasick from uh, a spot in Woodside not too long ago. And it, I feel like one thing that seems to be consistent is ear and that it's not cooked super tender so that there is a little bit of that crunch. Is that, is that about well, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it, it ha well, I mean, what do you mean? It, it has to. There has to be a crunch. Yeah. But does not. It, it not not like. It does have, it? It cannot be chewy. Okay. You know. Right. You know. Right. It, it's like it, it like because it, 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 that's that would be hard. Some to people even huh? process right. It would be hard to get down. Well, if it wasn't cooked all the way. Exactly. Way. It's it's, yeah. it's hard to break down. It's hard okay. to break down. Like especially so you 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 boil it right. So yeah. you boil it. it it's, it's approximately about an hour and 15 minutes to be exact, like mm -hmm. at least in, our, in my kitchen. And then you grill it. When you grill it, that's when it gets tough. Mm -hmm. So if you don't cook it properly, right, then, right. then, you know, you're, you're, really, you're going to end up dulling a knife for sure. Right, right. Yeah. Gotcha. That is absolutely okay. sensational. It is. Uh, can these really both be seasick? Should food keep evolving like this? Well, for me, if it's all about seasick, definitely the evolutions should end here. It definitely should end. <laughs> uh, I don't know about that. That's very definitive. I don't know, yeah, I don't know about that, man. Yeah. It, it should end there. I mean, but you know, it's, 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 that's what that's the beauty about you know uh, the human race. If you don't Everything want it evolves. to taste yeah. better, exactly. Again, where's yeah. my goddamn egg? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and the chicharron, right? Yes. Well, what I love about your spot is, um, if I'm not mistaken, you added some fresh herbs and like crispy garlic. On Correct. Top. So yeah. that's, that's 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 basically like that comes at. Filipino food doesn't use any of those. Right. right. That's 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 my that's my Southeast Asian background because I cook a lot of Southeast Asian food, um, like especially like Singaporean and Malaysian. Mm -hmm. So that's where that's in Thai. So that's where it came from. You know, gotcha. that crunch, crispy garlic, crispy yeah. shallots. You know, yeah. scallions on top. Uh, even cilantro. Mm -hmm. you know, so. Yeah, I I noticed that out of all yeah. the Filipino spots I've been to, yours yeah. is the only place that does that, yeah. and I <laughs> so, real I really like it. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> so it should be here. I don't know what this is uh, for me. It's got to be hard to improve on this. I mean, this is just. Let me get a beautiful bite to this because oh my god, <laughs> pretty good. How just absolutely out of this world. Yeah, being from Pamaga, when you see a more southern style of CC, what do you think about it? I actually hate this uh, version yeah, see, of CC. See, 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 that's what I'm talking about. That's yeah. what I'm talking about. Yeah. Like right. you know, like they, 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 they're only they only understand CC until this this level. Right. You know. Right. So, yeah, it's uh, uh, but but you know it's it's because I would eat the shit out of the one that he said he'd hate. I'd be like, yeah. you hate it? Okay, you give, you give this <laughs> to me. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, yeah. you stay. But to me, it is disgusting. Really? Yes. Oh, what? Oh, this no. Oh, come on. Um, it hurts my kapampangan roots for me. Uh, -huh. uh I would call this an omelet. or probably or probably or probably just not that open minded. You yeah. know, yeah. 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 And the, and the only the only the only reason the only rule for me in in cooking is as there isn't any rules. Yeah. 
No. Dude, is he really saying that in front of the other guy? <laughs> yeah, right. he yeah, 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 he is yeah, saying yeah. that in front of the yeah, other it's guy. It's a battle, yeah. so, you it's know. A, it's a, yeah, but come on. <laughs> professional. <laughs> professional courtesy. You say that uh, cooking, there is no rules, and I agree with you to, uh, to, to a degree. Yeah, to but, a degree. Yeah. But wait till uh, we start doing pro chef reacts. <laughs> oh, shit. And, uh, oh, yeah, okay. We, we may have okay. to establish some No, 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 no. I mean, I mean there, there's, there's a, there's, I mean, the, I mean, Cooking has no rules when you're when you have a, a, this certain capacity of cooking right. Right, really right. Sure. exactly. But when you when you, when you when you don't know what you're doing, I mean, come on, you're, yeah. You're, the, you're, the rules are important. The rules, they're, they're the fundamentals. Fundamentals. Exactly. Yes. What the, you need to know the yeah. rules. You need to need to know the to fundamentals. be able to jump. When off you have rules. those fundamentals, right. then rules don't apply. Right. right. There you go. Yes. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> save. Save. <Right. laughs> so whatever they they see a seasick that has egg or mayonnaise. <laughs> that that two ingredient egg and mayonnaise. Oh no, that's not seasick. That's an omelet. So it's no longer a seasick. And what about you? Do you still consider it a seasick? You see, I am a food fan. Yeah. Right. So evolution, I always welcome it. So it's a natural evolution. I like that guy. Yes. Still yeah. seasick. Yeah. Yeah. Both still just as yeah, authentic as too. one another. Yes, I mean for. I'll hire him in my kitchen right now. No, <laughs> uh, you, it will be hard for you to move forward if you will not. Gosh, uh, hiring people in the kitchen right now—it's just hard to find people. Uh, Period. It's, it, it's, I know you, you'll find people. It's hard to find good people. No, it's hard to find good people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. people that are like motivated, uh -huh. or you know, yeah, they want to get paid. They want to get paid high salary right away, but you know, without, without putting in the work, and they get the fuck yeah, out of here. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. They don't want to eat yeah. shit, basically. Yeah, yeah. Right. Like, yeah. yeah a lot. A lot <laughs> like, of that's been. We're, lost. we're 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 part of this generation where we. We, you know, we, we did, we did, for, you know, we were, we got down on all fours, you know, scrubbing floors, like yeah. everything from the bottom to the top, literally. Yeah. But these kids don't want to do it no more. No. Accept yeah. things. <laughs> right. Changes. Right. My goal is to make our food here in the Philippines be known worldwide. Mm. And Thank you. And i be able to do that if we're I not like going to be able to do Right. So the final one, let's try the Southern style seasick. Let's go. I'm going to get Ben's reaction. He's going to be like, no. I've He's got to admit that. They it's just had this conversation different. and he's still gonna bitch. It doesn't taste like the same dish at all. It's pretty remarkable these things do come with the same name. Ben, what do you think? I've got to admit, that's pretty good. Yeah, I would say it's good. But it's Fuck you! Good. Of course it's good. <laughs> he doesn't want to admit it. Yeah. He doesn't want to. That's, 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 that's the Kapampangan pride right there, man. He's <laughs> like, yeah, you know. <laughs> good dish. I mean, this to me is pretty sensational. Yes. You know, Anthony Bourdain once said, that seasick is possibly the best thing you could put in your mouth with beer. That is the one. Yes, yes. yes. Well, yes it is. Yes, yeah, it where's is. the beer? Where's beer? We should definitely get beer. We head to a local park in search of a beer. This place is known oh for Oh my God, so they have to hang out all day together after that? <laughs> uh, I'd be like, like uh, nah, 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 nah. You, you, you go your way, I go my yeah. way. You want to be a I'm, I'm really interested in what kind of beer they're going to get because Filipino beer is shit. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> what about Red Horse? Uh, it, it's just garbage. It tastes, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's, it tastes like piss. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Especially, it, you, that's why that's why beer in the Philippines is normally, is normally drank with ice. No shit. Yeah. Really? You don't drink. You never drink beer without ice in the Philippines. Oh, That's a wow. cardinal sin because because of, because you're oh you're drink, you're drinking beer to get you're, to get drunk. Right. Not really to taste the beer. Yeah, That's we know a little beer. bit about that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> seasick reigns supreme. Seriously, southern style seasick is everywhere. We plan to pick up a few of the different varieties to get our heads around if this southern style can come anywhere close to matching that Pampanga northern seasick. Eggs are a dominant ingredient, and the dish is finished with a yeah. substantial. <laughs> and I mean, that's substantial. that's that looks amazing. That looks, that looks, that looks would, great. I would that eat the great. fuck out yeah. of that. Yeah, yeah, I don't. Yeah, at this point, like you know, like that's that's whatever, whatever. See, if seasick involved to this, then goddamn, give give that to me. Yeah, God bless. Yeah, God bless. Yeah. Yeah. Of mayonnaise. There's so many layers of fat. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, <laughs> cheers. Cheers. I'm very much not living out my. Where's the beer? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, where's the beer? Turns out Natural some spring water. Just here in the Philippines that we didn't think about. I don't want to judge too much before I've tried, but this seasick here, there seems to be more mayonnaise in there is seasick. <laughs> I, I, I think I'm starting to err uh, on the side of Yen's argument that maybe there are some. Wait till you try it. The evolution of a food. You know what I mean? I told you so. Yeah, and I saw your face. You were you were dying on the inside as that young man drenched this seasick here in liters of mayonnaise. <laughs> well, what, what, how does that make you feel? Is that seasick to you? Yeah, to be honest, no. <laughs> no <it's not. laughs> but let's try it. Let's start off with this overly mayonnaised. Here we go. Here. 
Cheers. Cheers, everyone. Let's go. Sweet, sweet, sweet. <laughs> No, it's a dessert. Much sweeter. Much sweeter. Sweeter. There's none sweeter of is pro sweeter probably because of the onions. Mm. There's a little there's a, there's there's a, there's a little bit too much onions in that. Yeah. There's none of that wow. difference of texture. It's cost effective. It might be unfair. Yeah. I mean, Peter, <laughs> juicy thing is out of this world. It's almost not even really the same food, right? Well, I agree with you, but all my first work was uh, it's kind of like a dessert, <laughs> savory dessert. Maybe if they named it other than sea seagull. And we have here a savory dessert. It's definitely a very different creme right now. Very, very, very different. Right? This looks far more appetizing to me, I've got to admit. Um, yeah, it's still really it different. Does. I mean, there was, it was a full show over there. Uh, you know, it was quite busy. It was actually quite hard to, to line up and get some. Four, five, six eggs at once. There's Ooh. still a bunch yeah. of mayonnaise in this, right? But uh, it looks far better to me. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that, that, that does look hard. I'm not sure if the mayonnaise they use is actually different. Yes. Right. Well, let's go for it. Okay. I don't know what it is, but this, it still has a really different flavor profile, the sort of northern style that you forgot. But that, that's really good. I could eat that all day long. I can see why this kind of environment, it still feels like more of a fast food, more of a cheap food. It's got to yeah. be way worse for you. Yeah, I can agree with you with this. I can probably eat this all day. Yeah. Okay, guys, look, I think this has been really great. I really appreciate, Tito, you giving me this complete and utter rundown of this dish that's always been so interesting to me. It's pretty crazy, the kind of transformation these things come through, and it's been great to see it. You've done an awesome job being the sort of the guide through this world of seasick for me. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And bien, again, thank you for being the sort of the northern seasick representative. Thank you for standing up. All but right. In, but All in right. what shape or form was he representing? Because the first one was a chef who's like happy to cook, right? Yeah. yeah. He he was like in line, was like he was just just thrilled to be doing that. Absolutely. And the other one was like not even like it was an annoyance. Well, uh, there's general. Are they, are they, are they, is the other guy even a, even a chef? Like he seemed, he seemed That's to me he seemed to be like uh like he was he was a he's like a, a purist a purist yeah, you purist, know yeah. that like you know maybe 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 even like a culinary um what do you call this uh, is he a food critic uh, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> no maybe like a culinary I don't know like uh, aficionado aficionado you know, or something you know, whatever yeah. but another yeah, word I mean, uh, for bullshitter <laughs> <laughs> all, right. all right so that was the uh. That was the clip of the day. Uh, I'm right. sorry. That was the meat and potatoes of today's episode. Okay. Chef Anton, right. thank you for uh, reacting to this with absolutely. us. Absolutely, uh, absolutely. We're gonna just we're gonna show some clips before we close out this episode. Sure. Uh, just to give ourselves a little bit of a chuckle. This is sure. Frenchie's favorite part of the video. <laughs> so uh, I always like to have in every episode a clip of the oh, day. I hate this. Um, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this had me crack it up so fucking good. Uh, let's check this out. There we go. Bill de Blasio. That guy. Okay, Bill de Blasio, former mayor of New York City. Oh, don't even get me started with that guy, bro. Well, 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 let's keep watching. Let's keep watching. Hey, who fucked this city? The biggest douchebag. The biggest. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> right here. Absolutely, bro. <laughs> No, there's the same. There's a, there's, there was there was another video online. You see that one with the with a young dude and he you know he was like, "Yo, Bill De Blasio, yo, what's up, man? Get selfie." Yeah, thanks for fucking up our city. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, when uh, yeah, when that guy took over, it, yeah, uh, we 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 went to hell. It went south. Yeah, oh yeah, big time. definitely. All right, uh, a Ooh. viewer, a consistent viewer by the name of I think I saw this. Yes, of Rob. His name's Rob. Uh, shout out to you. He sent this to me. He said, you better show this to Frenchie. Gordon Ramsay's encroaching on your space. No way. Yeah. Uh, so Frenchie is famous for the French onion soup nice. burger. Yeah. Oh, and, oh, oh, uh, yeah, uh, oh. Uh, and Gordon Ramsay. So, uh, well, he calls it a French onion burger. Yeah. Uh-oh. Somebody. We have yeah. the original here. This is the guy right the here. Original, okay? The original. Okay. You see those right trophies? <laughs> they didn't make themselves. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Is that is that how you made yours or similar? Not even close. Not even close. Totally different, but oh, it's a dip. I nope. mean, it's a dip. It's a dip. It's uh, not gonna be as good as Frenchie's, but I'd still eat the shit out. Yeah, of that. I'd eat it. Yeah, I'd eat yeah. the shit out of that. Hell yeah! All right. Uh, next clip is uh, 
I call this the bike ride. Oh, no, 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 no. I know it's, is her head coming off? No, it's not coming off. <laughs> oh. Dick, you sent this to me. Oh, oh God. <laughs> he sends me clips all day oh, long. My God. <laughs> and I'm so fucking busy. And, and then when I finally see him, he goes, did you see the clips I sent you? I sent you a lot of clips. How come you're not talking to me about the clips I sent you? I'm like, brother, I just like catered 500 people okay i'm fucking it's tired. exactly like, yeah. what my best friend tells me all the time i'm yeah. like i sent you a clip how are you not looking why are you only scene zoning me you know when uh on instagram like it will show that i've seen something but then uh, yeah. you know you don't respond so he's he's calling that the scene zone, the scene zone. <laughs> the scene zone. Yeah. all right next clip uh Oh, next clip. You sent me this one too. Okay, so should be good. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to show you what we do with 41 of Oh my God, I love, I love this chef. Oh, yes. I love this guy. I'm going to fill up the fryer. Yes, the fryer with 40 pounds. I love that he's an asshole. He used to be an asshole too. <laughs> he used to be a what? An asshole. Oh, yeah. <laughs> big time. Oh, oh big yeah? time. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so he is filling up a fryer with clarified butter. Oh my God, please. Yes. No, just. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Hell that's yeah. The, that's All day long. That was, that's. Uh, if I could, if I could only do that, like you know, like cost effectively, yeah, every single day, I would, I would, I would do it. half clarified butter yeah. and half duck fat. Yeah, oh. thank you, thank you, yes. thank you, yes. thank you. I love exactly. that. Exactly. Thank, oh. thank you. Oh, that's plus rare. That's expensive. Yeah. We do the French restaurant where we cook a lot. We do a lot. French fry. We are going to fry our fry in. Dye butter. Trim that beard, bro. What's up? You should trim that beard. <laughs> uh, so, guys at home, if you want to fry with butter, don't just start taking sticks of butter yeah, and melting don't. it. No. no, no, you're going to burn it. In stick butter, there's milk solids. That'll burn. Clarified butter is when you remove those milk solids. So, therefore, the... the the smoke point goes up. I mean, you can get you can get clarified butter, like it's, but it's it's not as cheap as butter. No. Yeah. Go. Oh, yeah. those are gonna be so good. Yep. A beautiful coloration. A beautiful coloration. <laughs> I would eat the shit out of that. Yep. All right. I would too. Next clip. You sent this to me, Frenchie. Then it's going to be another banger. Uh, I I call this one, is this even real? Because, uh, well, I guess it shows you children really are a product of their environment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> and the other, the other siblings are not even impressed. They're like, uh, he does this every day. <laughs> What the what hell? Dude, he's not even three. He's yeah. literally still in diapers, bro. He's still in diapers. He's like two. He's two. Yeah, he's two. Jesus. How the fuck? Like, you know, is his dad practicing in the living room and his son one day was... He's probably a son of a Ninja Turtle or yeah. something. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but Can you imagine his core strength yes. by the time he's a teenager? Yeah. 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 He's like, got his... He's gonna make Brad Pitt look like a little bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Brad Pitt is a what? That's your reference to man? No, to manly it, abs, abs. Uh, Brad Pitt. Oh fuck it. I'll move on. <laughs> Those are movie abs. They're not they're not pick All things right. up and put them down. Oh, <laughs> you ever see the strongest guys? Then they don't have abs. They just True, got yeah. that it's, big it's gut the, belly. That one that one they have one, one ab. Yeah, one ab. Yeah. They one we have one pizza dough. Yeah. Like. Dude, there's a video I just saw and you have it, you can't tell because the guy is so big. So you think he's unhooking the shovel off of a off of a off of a truck like yeah. a, a digger. Yeah, and putting it on his back. And the guy's like, "Wait, what did I just see?" And he goes to look at it, and he's like looking at the specs. And the guy just picks up thirteen hundred pounds. What the hell? And he's just like walks away with it. And then the guy is showing perspective. The guy must be like seven feet tall, but it oh. just <laughs> picks up yeah. the shovel. Off on like a street digger or something like that. Jesus Christ. I was like, what the fuck? Is that real? Thirteen hundred. Is he human? 
Yeah, yeah, for real. I would. I'm. Let's. I'm now. We're, now. Now the day just got longer yeah. because we're <laughs> going to wait for me to find it. <laughs> well, in the meantime, I want to show you this genius marketing tactic. Sure. Um, oh, Tommy. Yeah. Oh, thank you to you and Brian for shouting me out. Make me sound delicious, Big Daddy. <laughs> That's Tommy who sent us uh, the empanadas. Oh, okay. Yes. Thank you, Tommy. Thank you, Tommy. Thank you to those Pop Empanadas. Those are delicious. Hey, those don't are delicious. pick up hot sauce. Wait a yeah. second. Don't pick up any hot sauce. Link in the description below. Tommy. No, I don't believe them. They're pretty good. They're, I love them. They're Tommy. Good. Tommy. Don't forget my vig. <laughs> All right. This is uh, mastering marketing. Let's check <laughs> this out. <laughs> I sent this to you. Yes, you did. <laughs> Notice it's always the same guy. So he starts with the same guy, kicks him, and then the next guy picks him up. I must have seen this a hundred times. <laughs> the guy's the guy's <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, this, uh, you know, it's uh, clips like that uh, makes me like the internet. Oh, and last thing for today before we finish off, uh, we got some fan art. Yay! This was on nice. Twitter. Yeah. So what's wrong with my face? <laughs> I, I don't know. Your beard is really fucked up. But he, uh, wait, what's wrong with my face? <laughs> I don't have facial hair. Wait, but how come I have no eyes and you have eyes? <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was the other way around. Yeah, I know. What happened? <laughs> Am I constipated or something? Duchess, you clearly details, my friend. Details, okay? Oh wait, what kind of must? Wait, yeah, I don't have a mustache. I don't have. I only had that mustache. I mean, for... You'll have a little bit of stubble. Yeah, but... I got some stubble, yeah. but I'm generally, you know, always shaven. Um, so mine is all gray instead of. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, guys, uh, well, Chef Anton, dear yes. Tradition. Yes, sir. Here in Hell's Kitchen. Oh, Jesus Christ. Tradition. <laughs> Tradition. <laughs> Tradition, yes. And uh, well, one more time, shout out to the camera who you are, where they can find you. Hi, guys. Chef Anton here from Tradition Restaurants. Uh, two locations. First one is the first one, 7909th Avenue. Uh, and the second one is 135 West 50th Street inside Urban Hawker. Hope to see you guys there. Dude, my mouth is just watering, remembering eating that dish. Yeah. The <laughs> Damn. So Thank you that guys. was a good night, Chef. Yes. Yeah. That was fun. That was fun. That Link was fun. in the description below. Make sure you check out Chef Anton's spots for sure. It is worth the trip. And it's right by Laura Vaj. So you get yep. a French onion soup burger, then you get some seasick, yep. and then you go to cat my place, Cat's Deli. But what? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Mission let's Sandwich do, Social. Let's, Mission do, Sandwich let's do that pop up. Let's do yeah. that pop up, guys. Do We're that doing pop -up. it. We're yeah. doing uh, it. I think we should do it for the holidays. Yeah. Well, what yeah. good karma that a viewer like called us out. I was like, dude, he's right there. Yeah. A viewer oh, really? said in the comments, like, you have to check out this spot. Really? Yeah, yeah. We didn't re like we didn't connect. That well, we fell in love with the video. Yeah. Right. 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 Yeah. And then I like. You know, dreams, you know, dreams. But maybe we could sit and look up the, the universe. Dream. The universe is working with you guys. Yeah, man. It was. It <laughs> was. Here we are. Here we are. All right. When he what? told me, I was like, wait, that's for real? Yeah. You know, I kept going. It's like, the guy we reacted to, <laughs> is that's the... his place. And he was like, huh? I was like, the video. We reacted. He's like, Joshua Wiseman. I was like, no, the other one. He's like, oh, pig face. I'm like, yes. We go now. Yeah, we, yeah, we yeah. go now. We go now. <laughs> <laughs> All fun. right, guys, uh, make sure you check out the next episode of Pro Chef Reacts, which is also going to feature Chef yes, Anton. And uh, in that episode, we'll uh, ask a bit more about his background and his culinary uh, background and all that stuff. But until then, we'll see you really soon. I've been Chef Brian Sow, not your typical chef. Finish your plate. And we'll see you really soon. Say bye to the wide cam. Which one? Which that one? one? That one. That Bye. one. Bye. <laughs>